Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So a couple days ago, my mom emailed me an article called A Day in the Life of Marie Kondo and it shared all of her daily rituals and habits that she likes to follow. And if you're not familiar with Marie Kondo, she is a Japanese tidying expert. She wrote the book, The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up and now has a Netflix series called Tidying Up with Marie Kondo. So today I'm looking forward to actually stepping into her life, how she lives on a daily basis. I was very curious and some of these habits we're following are a little interesting, so we're gonna see how it all plays out. I do wanna say if you are new here to my channel, please hit that red subscribe button. I do home and lifestyle videos centered around organizing and cleaning, so if those are topics you're interested in, I would love to have you as a subscriber. And with all that said, let's jump into Marie Kondo's typical day, and she says she starts her day by opening up all the windows, all the blinds, and letting fresh air into her home. And this is something that I never do. And once I did it, I was like, why don't I do this? It is so amazing to have a nice cool breeze going through your home. It wakes you up and it just feels fresh and clean. next habit she follows is she sips what sparks joy every morning, whether that be a cup of tea or a decadent cup of coffee, whatever makes you happy. Make sure you are drinking that first thing in the morning. So I'm a big tea enthusiast, as you guys probably know by now. Here is just some of my collection of loose leaf teas. So I decided to go with my current favorite combo right now, which is coconut oolong tea. The next thing she does is get dressed even if she's working from home. And this one hit me. I am a work from home mom. I avoid getting dressed at all costs. I'm always in my loungewear. She says by getting dressed up, you're gonna feel more productive, get more done, and get in that work mindset. And I wasn't as comfortable as I normally am, but that's actually a good thing because I didn't wanna lounge on my couch or rest. I was more comfortable sitting at my desk. This next one may seem a little out there, but we are doing this without judgment, and that is thanking your belongings verbally as you're using them. So she says, when you return the jacket you wore, the bag you used at the end of the day, do so with gratitude, saying thank you for supporting me today. Thank you, jacket, for keeping me nice and warm today. Thank you, cup. What was that? Oh, no, I was talking to my cup. So I have to admit doing this felt kind of weird, but when you think about it, I really do believe that gratitude is the key to happiness. And by making a conscious effort to actually thank the things out loud in our daily life that we're using, it just brings more gratitude into your life. And by bringing more gratitude into your life, that naturally will lead to more happiness. The next thing she does every day is write a detailed to-do list and check things off throughout the day as she is getting things done. And if you watch my channel, you know that I am a big enthusiast enthusiast of to-do lists. I use the app called Google Keep. I keep different buckets of to-do lists and I am writing things down and checking them off all day. But this day I decided to do her method of actually physically writing down my to-do list, which I haven't done in a long time. And it really does just make you feel more productive when you are checking things off. Next, she says when she returns home, she removes her shoes and wipes them before putting them away and putting on her house slippers. And this is not something I would normally do unless my shoes were visibly dirty. But if you can stick to this and wipe your shoes every time you use them, that will just keep them nice and clean and prevent you from tracking dirt into the house. The next habit takes place in the shower. She says after she's done using her hair care products like shampoo and conditioner, she wipes them down with a towel so they are fully dry and stores them under her bathroom sink. She says this makes cleaning the bathroom easier and prevents the buildup of mildew.
And her last daily habit, which has to be my personal favorite, is her nighttime routine. She says she eats dinner and spends time with her family and children. Once the children are asleep, she changes the water in the flower vases and puts things in the house back in their places. Because every item already has its place, she says it takes less than 10 minutes to do this for her entire house. And then she can go to bed with a clean house and start the next day fresh. So that was it, that was my very peaceful and zen day of living the life of Marie Kondo. I have to say it was very enjoyable. I felt more calm than I normally do and my favorite habit that I took away from this is just being more conscious of the things that spark joy in our lives and being more conscious of saying thank you and expressing gratitude, not just to the people in your life, but even the objects in your life. I know it sounds weird, but it is a really powerful lesson to kind of incorporate into your life. I also wanna let you guys know, so Marie Kondo has her series on Netflix where she goes into people's homes and she helps them tidy up. I want to do a similar type of series here on YouTube where I go into your homes and different YouTubers' homes and actually help them tidy up and reorganize their spaces. This would bring me so much joy because at this point, let's be honest, I've organized everything I possibly can in my own house, so now it's time I hit the road. So that is one of my big goals for 2019. I need a name for this series, and I need to know if you guys like this idea. So if you do, give it a thumbs up. If you have any name ideas, let me know. I don't know if like organizing with Brittany is good enough. With all of that said, thank you guys as always so much for watching, and I will see you soon with a new video. Bye. Thank you, Ben. Thank you, Joa.